Hello YouTube friends. Today I thought I would change things up a little bit from the garden and share with you um, how to make my little dress cards. I started making these cards quite a few years ago um, when one time I was looking for a very special card for a very special woman a good friend of our family's who was turning a hundred years old um, I was looking for a special card for her and I just I didn't want to buy her the typical Hallmark you know congratulation you're a hundred years old kind of card so I came up with this idea and the reason that I came up with a dress card was basically because of the person herself she used to tell me stories that were just wonderful about how women used to buy accessories for their their outfits you know back in the day now she's been gone about 10 years so that would have been about like I don't know 90 years ago or so uh, in particular one of the stories that really always struck a chord with me she was telling me one day of how you would buy a pair of gloves you didn't just go to the department store and pick a pair of gloves off a shelf or off a rack and put them on your hands you you went to a glove salon and apparently every major department store had a glove salon so you would go first before you went into the salon uh, you would go and look at all the gloves that were laid out in a showcase in a glass case and you would pick whichever pairs you wanted to try then you would go in this she said there was a curtain and you went in through the curtain and in this room was um, a tall chair a tall table with a pillow on it so you would sit in the chair and you would put your arm on the pillow your elbow and you would put the rest of your hand your hand towards the air so your your elbow would be on the pillow and your arm would be up and a lady would come in the room with the gloves that you had selected and she would she would fit the glove to your hand she would put the glove on your hand and she'd work each finger down and smooth it down and of course these gloves were were leather I'm sure probably a very fine leather and this was how you would try on your gloves and if the gloves fit then you would she would put them in a box wrap them all up and you would purchase them and take them home and I just thought this was just such a wonderful story I you know who who can even imagine buying gloves like that anymore so um, this was the kind of person that I wanted to make this card for and I'm getting all for clumped just talking about her she also said when you bought a hat you went to the hat salon and it was the same kind of idea you sat on a chair and they fit the hat to your head or sometimes she said they even made you a hat you know like you they fit a, a form on your head and they, you'd pick out the materials that you wanted the trims and everything and they would take an impression I guess sort of kind of of your head and when you came back then your hat was made and then they would fit it to your head made sure it fit perfectly um, she had all these kind of stories so anyway I made her a card not this style a, a little bit different but her card I made the dress that I designed and it was the very first one that I had ever done I designed it as a flapper dress from the 20s she loved it she was crazy about it so then I started doing different dresses and this one here um, is one of the ones that I've done the most of it seems to be quite the favorite this little evening gown so this dress um, I it's just one of many different kinds that I have made and I'll show you some of the other ones later so the card itself is very simple it's just done on a piece of cardstock regular cardstock uh, I've just cut a sheet in half and folded it in half. This one I glued some old music paper or music sheets actually, sheet music on it. I just use um, stick glue, uh, what do you call it? I don't know, I can't think of it. Anyway, 
just the stuff in the stick, you know, a glue, a glue stick, and I put that on with it. And then I just did a little bit of stitching with the machine around here and around the back, just to kind of give it a little something extra. This little piece on here, this bottom piece behind the dress, is just a, a different color of cardstock, which I glued a piece of lace on, and I did a little bit of stitching around there just to give it a little bit of contrast to the this is quite busy and I, I think if you would have just put the the dress against the music it it would have got lost so this kind of pops it out a little bit so the dress itself uh, the form of the dress the body part is also a piece of cardstock and I just cut out a template I have a bunch of different templates and I cut that out I just paint the top with a little bit of acrylic paint and then I just dress the, the body. So this is just a little piece of black brocade that I have and on the bottom part I just use a little black lace and this I don't know what this is. It's very difficult to work with I do know that. Um, the sheer material a little bit of trim there, a little bit of braid, a little bit of ribbon, a little bit more braid and a little ribbon rose and you're done. So it doesn't take very much materials at all. It's something that uh, you can use your scraps up with or um, you know if you I, I tear apart all kinds of little pieces just to get little pieces that I want. And so that's that's all there is to making this card. So the templates, when I make the templates where's the one? This is the template for this uh, one. So that's what you start with for the dress itself. And I just make these out of cardstock as well. And this one is my template that I use to cut out mine. But when you're going to make your template, draw out half of it on a piece of paper and then take your, put your, fold your, um, your paper in half like this and just draw it out. And then when you cut it, you've got your full form. So then it's easy just to put this form on on your cardstock and just trace around it and cut it out. Um, doing it in half like that when you're when you're creating your template makes it everything even. Your waist is even, you know, all your all your cuts are completely even. So that's the one that I would have used for that card. Um, I have or I have I have a smaller one. If I wanted to make a smaller card, I have a smaller one of the same type. I also have a different style of a gown. This would be more of a big flouncy gown. Um, some of them have, this is supposed to be like the shoulder, so that you see the shoulder part. <clears throat> but I've also made some without that and I actually quite like these too they're they're very nice so this would be the same it's a little shorter and I've just cut off <clears throat> excuse me part of the the shoulder part and here's a smaller one with the shoulders and then I also have a template that I've made for a little girl's dress and um, you could use these for little girls birthday cards if you want so those are some of the templates that I've used um, and you can you know you can once you've made a template like this you can you can adjust it however you want you know you can take the bottom off of it if you don't want this bottom part you can cut that off so I'll show you a few of the dresses that I have done I'll just put this over top of this so that you can see a little bit better um, so just to give you an example, here's one that isn't finished. It's just got the material on it. This one is almost finished. And this one, I'll move that one over there. This one is the same material, but I've added this sparkly, I don't know what it is, over top. So it gives it a bit of a sheen and it it tones down the brightness of this a little bit. I still have to add something here 
and then that one will be ready. Here's another one. Same thing. It has material, which is the flowers, the red roses, and then I've put a netting type of material over top, and I made some bread dough flowers, and she has a little waist, and I've also given her a necklace, so this one is a little bit different again. Here's some smaller ones done with the small template. They're quite cute. This one's only tall because I've got a, a, a foofy thing added to it, which I'm not sure if I'm going to leave on there or not. This one is so adorable. And then um, there's a, another large one. And another large one. This one has lovely material underneath this. I don't know if you can see it, but it has this brocaded... It almost looks like it's been um, stitched. And then I just put a little bit of netting on the bottom and a little lace over top. And it's pretty. This one I would put on a card that had a background behind it that was very dark so that you could see this dress pop out. If you put uh, something dark behind it, see your dress looks different. So it's all about the coloring and you know the textures and things like that. And here's sort of a little princess dress. This one is all lace and I've done some beading on here. This would be good for a sweet 16 or something like that. Here's a pretty little one. I love this one. I'm partial to yellow. That one would make a cute Mother's Day or a grandma's birthday or an auntie's birthday. And it too is just material and then I just added a bit of lace around around the sides and added some bows with a little bit of a bling on the on the shoulder. I hope you can see these. Because I don't have a proper camera. I'm just using my SLR. Here's another one. This would make a nice little grad card for a little graduate. Another one, this one I added sleeves by just putting a little bit of lace on that shoulder part. And here's a little here's a little girl one. That one I put a little bit of beading on as well. So here are some that I have just put the material on. I haven't done any decorating. This one would be really pretty for a Christmas card. It's got a lot of uh, shine to it. It doesn't really need a whole lot of bling added to it because it's got a lot of bling on its own. But that would be really pretty for a Christmas card. This one too. This would be really nice for a Christmas card. Cute little girl's card. Wouldn't that be sweet? on some polka dotted background. There's all kinds of things you can do. So, um, the, the background of the card itself can be whatever you want it to be. You can just use some ribbons or some lace. You can use wrapping paper, some pretty wrapping paper uh, on there. Um, or some, if you're, uh, if you do scrapbooking or junk journaling or something, you could find something really pretty to put on behind there. Paper napkins, really pretty paper napkins. They, they look lovely behind a card. So, you know, dress it up however you want. Add some ribbons, add some trims right on the card itself if, if that's how you want it to look. You can, you can do whatever you want and you make it larger cards if you want. I've got a couple of smaller cards here 
oh, that I'm going to be doing. They're the same height, but they're a lot thinner. So I could put that on there. What I would do is I would make the background, maybe do a piece of ribbon behind that's darker. Um, something like this. If I did something like this, I would put black behind it or dark, dark blue or something, something very dark to make that dress stand out. So you can do a lot of different things with these and I think um, they make a really pretty, they're a gift on their own actually, you know, but for sure they're a very nice little card. So I hope some of you try this. It's it's not a difficult task and um, I know for a fact that when you give these little cards like this people are going to be so excited because they're very very pretty. So I hope if some of you make them that you let me know and maybe send me some photos in the comments and um, I'd love to know how you get on with doing these cards. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.